we're now going to solve logarithmic inequalities. And a logarithmic inequality is any inequality such that uh, that has a logarithm in it. And so when we're looking at this, there's some, a couple of things we need to keep in mind. And the first of those is that we do, in fact, have a domain in this problem. And we need to keep track of that domain because that domain is really important. We know that what's inside the parentheses, 1 minus 3x, has to be strictly greater than or equal to, sorry, not even greater than or equal to, just strictly greater than 0. So that means minus 3x has to be bigger than minus 1 divide by the minus 3, and we get x is, since I'm dividing by a negative, less than positive 1 third. So no matter what else happens, x has to be less than 1 third. Well, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at this and we're going to say, hey, the only way to get rid of this natural log is to take advantage of the inverse properties. And there's a rule where if we have a equals b, then we also know that some u to the a is going to be equal to u to the b so long as u is a positive number so that it follows our exponential rules. And if that's the case, then this will work. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find our base of this log, which is e, and we're going to raise both sides. We're going to raise e to both sides' powers. So e natural log of 1 minus 3x is now bigger than e to the second. Well, this is going to use the inverse properties, and this just becomes 1 minus 3 to the x is bigger than e to the second. Solving for x, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So minus 3x is bigger than e squared minus 1. Divide everything by a negative 3. And change the inequality sign means that x has got to be less than 1. Well, let's just write it this way first e squared minus 1 over minus 3, if we move that minus up, then this becomes x is less than 1 minus e squared over 3. So we get out our calculator. 1 minus e squared divided by 3 means that x needs to be less than minus 2.129. We look at both of these. We take the and of both of them. And so our answer is the intersection between these. So this goes from minus infinity to 0.33 repeated. And this is minus infinity to minus 2.129. And since this number is smaller than this one, my answer is just this one. It won't always be. You have to look at the intersection and pick the intersection in order to be sure that you found the right one. But in this particular case, x has to be smaller than 1 minus e squared all over 3.